Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll talk about ChatGPT, how ChatGPT will help you for SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, so it is needed for many different purposes. For software automation testing, software development, SQL developer use it. So ChatGPT is a chatting bot, you can ask any question, ChatGPT will give you the answer. So today's topic, I will ask ChatGPT to write some SQL code and that I will uh, execute in my SQL server. So let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you a step by step process how to ask ChatGPT write SQL code for you and you will implement that in SQL server. Hello viewer, now I am at computer screen. So let's open any browser. This is the browser and it is OpenAI website. You need to go openai.com, then you need to go ChatGPT. Once you click ChatGPT, you will be in this space. After getting this space, you need to click Try Chat GPT. Once you will click Try Chat GPT, it will open another uh, tab with this login information. If you have an account, you need to click login. Otherwise, you need to sign up to use the Chat GPT. So I have an account, so click login. Then I need to put my email also i need to i'm not a bot robot then you need to the question over here then verify then click continue then you need to put your password then click continue this is chat gpt window you can ask any question over here chat gpt will give you the answer so today's tutorial basically uh, we'll ask some sql query question and try to get the answer from chat gpt and that one i will implement in sql server query uh, sql server management studio i'll put that query and run if it is works perfectly or not that is my main purpose so I have a question I predefined that first question is please write a query to find out how many product we have. So copy that question, paste it to the chat GPT. After pasting over here, writing over here, you can click over here or you can hit enter from keyboard too. So click over here, let's see how it goes. Chat GPT written this query, select count there's the products so basically based on my input it it has written the table name but you need to figure it out what is your table name is so let me our table name is products so write the query over here let's it is not a matter this is the product table just modified and run this query it is executed 77 um the product we have in in this table so that means first query executed successfully in sql server whatever chat gpt written so let's go to the second query please write a sql server query to find out product which has highest price so copy this question go to chat gpt write the question over here and also hit enter or click over here chat gpt is writing the query select product let's say copy this one and go to the sql server so first thing you need to figure it out limit uh, it will not work for the sql server query so run the product table query first give me one second copy this and paste it over here select the start from products run this query execute the reason i executed i need to see the column name whatever chat gpt written it is same product name this column name is product name 
that means this is not underscore it will be product name this is the my column name then price whatever here is the column name is unit price unit price so you need to fix the because chat gpt doesn't know what column exactly you have based on input you put that random column name then price it will be unit price dsc then also we need to put that top one common that one limit it will not work for the sql server this is the uh, we just little modified the query so let's run it execute it is the highest unit price in productable this means whatever chat gpt is giving you the query it works fine it needs little modification based on your uh, table name and structure so what is the third query please write query to join two table so copy that go to chat gpt write this query question then hit enter basically chat gpt written query based on table one and table two there's two table name you need to put actual table name and also here is the note section it is mentioned table one and table two field are placeholder you may need to replace them with the actual table name column name also you may need to adjust the join condition based on your data structure so let's copy this query copy from here go to sql server let me paste it now the first is the table name let's say we will do the um, customer table table name is c-u-s-t-o-m-e-r customer so join table let's say we will do with orders table orders table put me aliases this one c order stable is o right now table one means we need table one means c dot customer id this is the field name and then we can put o dot customer id so if you run this query it is joining right then you can put any other condition filter condition and all other thing that means whatever chat gpt given joining structure it works as expected so we ask three question to chat gpt one is please write sql query to find out how many product we have it is successfully re written second one also third one also that is way chat gpt can help you to write the query for sql server if you have minimum knowledge sql server you can ask chat gpt chat gpt will give you the hint like that way you can modify those query and uh, it will work for you so this is the way chat gpt can write sql query for you and it will be helpful those who are new in sql sql query and um, yeah and also it will uh, save time to write the query from a scratch too i believe those who are new in software automation testing or in sql this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video